Hey everybody, Will Fix here. I got another video for you today. XRP's price prediction secrets. What we're going to do is go over some of the things that I think are missed by the people who think XRP is going to only go to five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dollars, some just up to twenty-five dollars. So we're going to go over why that limitation doesn't exist, why it's so, so possible for it to go into the multiple thousands of dollars. So we're going to take a look at that today. Today's video should be fun and exciting in that way. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we'll look at is what is the max supply of XRP? 100 billion coins. So we all understand that. Well, what is the circulating supply? That is 55.69 billion, leaving a remaining balance of approximately 44.31 billion tokens locked up in escrow. So that's one of the factors we have to look at. What is, what is the other factors to look at? Well, it's important to know how many is in the circulating supply. So in the circulating supply, where are those tokens right now in circulating supply? Okay, well, we know some of them are on exchanges to be sold, right? So we also know some are in wallets. We know that there are some located in the automated market maker in liquidity pools. And that's pretty much the three territories now. What's the future territory that, that there will be some coins um, in? In e ETFs. ETFs will have to have coins in them. Once an ETF is approved, uh, it has to have the underlying asset they have to actually be owned. Now, what that will, uh, that will do a couple things, won't it? Uh, all of them aren't available are they? So let's take a little bit closer look into, into those numbers. By the way, if I didn't get any of these numbers exactly right, let's go ahead and just uh, pretend these are correct because the, uh, the overall point is not going to miss that much. So if you guys want to tell me what the real numbers are, you can give them to me in the comments. I'm doing the best I can with the numbers that I have before me. So, okay, let's continue. Stick with me because I'm going to show you with math how you can easily get to $250 per XRP. No problem. And all of this math will make total sense to you. By the way, if you want a decent wallet, use the link in my description. It'll save you money. I suggest the decent wallet. You do need cold storage to park your XRP in. All right, let's continue. So now we're going to reduce down how many coins there are XRP available to move money, to be used as the XRP token was intended to be used as cross-border payments and the other things that have been added uh, to uh, the uh, job duty of XRP. So out of 55.69 billion, take a look at this. 11 million XRP tokens have been burned. And there again, if these numbers aren't right and you got better numbers, that's fine. But we're going to work with these for now, okay? So 11 million are gone. So that's reduced it down to 55,679,000,000. Uh, tokens left, right? So we took those out. Now, let's subtract out the ones that are in the liquidity pool. So we can subtract out here, right here. What is that? 7 million... 502,492 are not available to be used as the XRP token is intended to be used as far as cross-border payments and such. So we can subtract those out. Now if we look at how many tokens are being held in wallets, meaning you know personal wallets or uh, however they quantify that, you know, whenever I do a search, I did this search and used Microsoft uh, being whatever their deep search AI is. And here's what it says. As of March 2024, 
that you know it's talking this amount i'm not going to change any of these numbers they're all close enough uh xrp cryptocurrency market cap uh, blah 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 uh, the split between the top 50 addresses each of which holds at least 200 million xrp so and the remaining addresses is roughly 50 50. Now, I might be reading that wrong, so if these numbers are wrong, we can figure the numbers out later. <laughs> but it looks like to me that what that is, is 50 addresses with at least 200 million XRP, which would be a total of 10 billion XRP in those 50 addresses. Then it says, and the remaining addresses is roughly 50-50. So I imagine that that would be another 10 billion XRP. So that's 20 billion XRP are in personal wallets. So where does that leave us? Uh, that leaves us at this figure of 35 billion 671 uh, million 497,508 available token. Now, for the sake of easy math, let's go with 50 cents per XRP. So, we now have in uh, uh, dollar value, we have 17,835,748,754 dollars worth of coin. That means that's how much coin we can move at any one moment if they were all available. So there you have it. So there's $17.84 billion worth of XRP um, out in the wild, ready to be used. Now we know that's not an exact figure because as the value of XRP changes, um, you know, that could be, that'll be greater or less in its ability to move money. So, but from that, we can easily say, well, if 17.84 billion is how much can be moved, let's suppose for a second we need to move uh, that enough money's in the system to move $25 billion uh, shows up. In other words, a whole bunch of institutions and banks are all sending money. And it's like, hey, there's a $25 billion demand of sending this money around. It's just in the system getting moved. 25 billion. Well, let's calculate what that would do to the price of XRP for a second. So we got $25 billion being moved. Let's do some math. All right, so the available coins are the 35 billion some odd coins. The amount of money is 25 billion. When you do the math, you're going to have to raise the price of XRP to 70 cents as a minimum. Now that becomes the floor if you're moving that much money on a regular basis because they're not going to have a liquidity issue. The amount of utility money doesn't require that that pushes the price up. It's not required for somebody to buy it at that rate. It's pushed up because the money's filling up in the system. It pushes it to that price because the money comes in to the system. So all of this other money that's parked elsewhere in your and my wallets, that goes up to 70 cents too. And you think, well, Will, God, 70 cents, that's not a lot. Yeah, we're only talking $25 billion. How many banks have $25 billion, man? I mean, we're talking moving whole countries. There's eight countries that are going to use XRP for all of their money. Those coins are will be pulled out of that 35 billion coins. How many is in there, these eight countries? When you start subtracting out from the available coin that can move entire economies that are going to be using up the XRP tokens and creating CBDCs, you start shrinking that pool by a massive amount. Let's go to $1 trillion. Guess where the price shoots to? Just $1 trillion coming in, being moved around by those available 
35 billion coins, not taking any out for CBDCs in the eight countries. Also, not taking out any for the ETFs. Not taking any out. Just supposing there's 35 billion. Put one trillion dollars in there. The price of XRP goes to $25. You put 10 trillion in there, it goes to $250 per. Now, when you start cutting that rate back of 35 billion coins because of an ETF, well, the 35 billion coins, if they're at 50 cents and you lock up, now you got to remember when these ETFs are are grabbing a hold of this money. It's going to be here at the lower price, isn't it? Because the ETF's probably going to happen before uh, mass adoption because we already got people moving on it, right? Remember Bitcoin, they got people moving on it. It happened pretty quick. Okay, well, let's say, you know, a few billion dollars is uh, put in XRP. Well, whatever dollar amount, it's double that that's pulled out. So if you put in you know, uh, $20 billion, you just ate up 40 billion coins. Well, you're, you're out of coins. You, you already, so it already went up, you know, just, just because of that figure. So I wanted to shed light on this to show you that these figures of XRP going to giant numbers is not a fallacy. It's not a dream. It's, it's going to be a reality. It's going to be mass adoption. It's going to be coins totally taken out of the usable pool and put in whole GDPs, whole entire countries. Eight that we know of, right? And then these banks are that are going to purchase and have some on their uh, balance sheets. How many are they going to have on their balance sheets? It's going to be millions. Millions and millions, because they got millions and millions of dollars. So they're going to have millions of dollars. What about Vostro Nostro accounts? Those are still going to exist. Those are your, uh, by the way, somebody was like, I didn't even know what that was. Uh, Vostro Nostro accounts are your settlement accounts, uh, send and receive accounts that banks have. So there's going to be money in there. And, and the more coin that is pulled out of the pool of usable coins the more the price goes up because fewer coins have to do a bigger job. That's the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. You know, if you do, please like and subscribe. I sure like doing this kind of stuff. I've had a good time with you. I'll see you next video.